field now. This guy is a magician. Talisa Bayano. Uh, a bit of Irish dancing. <laughs> I would try my best. Hop out, hop one, two, three, four. One and two and three. I'll stand beside you because it con confuses me. Really. A couple of you got me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking back to how you arrived in Leicester, what, what actually happened? Yeah, so we had our last game against the All Blacks. Uh, went home for four days. I, did, I thought I was going to be there for longer. And here I was eating McDonald's, a few pies, a few KFC for four days and then Next thing I knew, I had a couple of missed calls from my uh, manager telling me that I need to get a next flight over here to Leicester, and, uh, and here I am. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down. I thought I was just coming here just to you know, help out the boys. Uh, they had uh, some quality outside backs, and uh, especially a fullback and wing. So I thought I was here just to make the numbers up, and uh, next weekend um, I'm here there playing fullback, and uh, from then on I've just been able to make the most of every opportunity that's come my way. And, uh, it was the only opportunity that I had, so I thought I'd try and take it with uh, two hands. And the new man has it. Leicester historically has been known as quite a, a, a attritional side, a hard faced side, a Richard Cockrell lead in that. It's quite it's a completely different club now. I think we've got a, a bit more balance. I mean, we can play both games. Uh, we can play up front and we can also just play f uh, free for all rugby. And I think uh, Ezra and Cock is a, are a good mix. <laughs> that does not look good for my knee. It's key on the pitch, actually, that there's quite a lot of enjoyment going on. You've had a bit of banter with a few of the referees. Good Christmas. Yeah, nice to get a break, in it? At least two days. <laughs> and you're just trying to keep them on side, you're buttering them up, but are you just enjoying life as a rugby player? Definitely buttering them up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying my time here at Leicester, and um, I'm enjoying my rugby as well. And uh, my mindset is just to, you know, just to be grateful for everything and, and take all the opportunities that I've been given. It's got quite a step on him. And in terms of all the dancing today, obviously your, your feet have been rather impressive in terms of how fast they are. It's all instinctive, isn't it? Yeah, for me it's definitely uh, instinctive. Uh, I've been trying to run away from all the big guys here in the Premiership and there's a lot of them. So yeah. when I see them coming, um, I've got to look elsewhere for my strengths and so far it's just been my footwork and my speed. Oh, jeez! Like at the time, sometimes some of, some of those things are just, you just go blank, you know, and you just realise you scored a try and then you have to look back on those and you think, geez, I was pretty lucky to put some footwork up. <laughs> and I've got to uh, convince Crockers to come down here to get us a one-on-one -on -one class. So you're effectively going to start your own Irish dance troupe? Yeah, pretty much. Probably the first time I'm going to do that.